Ladies and gentlemen, please rise, remove your headgear as we pay tribute to our nation in the playing of the national anthem. The national anthem may be played by the Hampton University Pep Band. Point four points a game for the for the tribe. He's the second leading scorer. Tribe get the own offensive rebound and knock down the three. So now a five point play. Pierce has it, pushing the ball down the court, tries to get it to Knight. Does wide open shooter three is up and knocked down. That'll be Riley on the three and an 8 0 lead for the tribe to start off this game. Pierce looking to push it. It's work for William Mary. He gets the inside pass over tonight. His layup is good. Pirates moving the ball, trying to get the ball inside. Greg Hickstall jumper at the elbow is good. Knocked down. Hey, very well right now. Very physical inside with him. And it seems like that was number 22. Riley got away with a travel kind of right there. But knocks down the three, 13 to seven. Nice pass there by Owens tonight. And he goes up for the fanatic slam there. Nice strong move there. Kalen gets his try to three. His shot off the mark and no good. Rebounded by Jermaine Morrow, who gets the easy layup. He might, he, he might be the quickest player on the court, and he... Try with it. A lot of picks. Set by the Tribe, and they finally find out of contact. Ball is crowded by Mano. He'll push it. Gets it up to Griffin. Griffin. With a nice pass. Griffin gets the easy two to go in the layup. Head up the court looking for the open man, but he'll slow it down and let his offense develop. Yeah, he missed a wide open Griffin. Makes a nice move. Gets the ball inside. And layup to go in. That's a nice move. It's not allowing anything easy for Knight. And a tough jumper by Milan over the 10 seconds getting the ball down. Ball finds his way inside the Knight. His two is no good, but guess who's there? Pierce right there with the putback two. Pierce shot no good. Another three up for Lysander. Again, knocking it down. And Brazy's done, done this his whole career here at Hampton University, knocked down that three. And then a good three points. Forces an in-air pass. But Pierce gets his own bad pass back. Kicks it out to Owens, and Owens knocks down the three. Yeah, I think. So a botched play there for William Mary goes their way. I think Barnes has to grab that out the air. Knight check back in the game for Riley. Knight has it at the top of the key now. Good inside pass to Milan. He gets the layup to go. Five-point game. And, you know, we haven't got much from Kayla Fisher right now from the Pirates. Wait for him to get hot. Lysander Bracey, Bracey with Bracey. another three. Yeah, that's Bracey with another three. Right, with the basketball. Ball moving quickly wide over three for Pierce. He lets it go. Too much on it. No good. Rebounded by Knight. And he'll slam it in. Try it now back up by two. I'm here with head coach for the Pirates, Coach Joyner. So this William and Mary team seems to be a tough defender for you guys, seeing that you're down in the first half and you guys lost 83 to 76 the last time you played. What needs to happen differently in the second half? Uh, we gotta continue. We have to make more shots. We gotta make sure you gotta stay astute defensively because they do a lot of back doors, they do a lot of movement, they do a lot of ball movement and people movement. So we gotta continue to defend to make sure we handle it on that end. But we gotta score the ball. Fisher and Mitchell. And for the tribe, we have Knight, we have Lowe, we have Milan, Pierce. Man with the ball top of key, makes a nice move, gets the ball on the side, floater up, and good. That's what you call a pro move right there, two foot jump stop. Continuously go at it. Mano again making a nice move inside. Fadeaway jumper up and good against Lowe. Still scoring points. Foul was on the floor, so they'll inbound it here. Jermaine Morrow shoot the quick three and gets it to go. Oh. Jermaine Morrow is pulling it inside off this second half. Pirates get their first lead of the game, now leading by three. Jermaine Morrow, that's that's Jermaine Morrow's fifth rebound of the game. He's the smallest guard on the court. And you know, look at, check out uh, Trayvon. Uh, and, and one for Jermaine Morrow, foul against Lowe. He tries a floater at the elbow, gets it to go. He's <laughs> And you see if he's going to force a shot, do much a little heat check, but he just gives up the great Hexall, who gets a good pass to Akeem. Akeem with a reverse layup, and it goes. That's just against the Tribe. 
Wilman Mary very stagnant on the offensive side. Good move there by Pierce. Gets it inside and gets the tough layup to go with the foul against Barnes. So even though the Tribe aren't getting it going on the offensive end, I love their length right now. Their length just looks amazing for any coach to have. Gives it all, ball up to Greg Hextall. He goes toughest in the paint. A lot of contact. No whistle, but gets the layup to go. It's their layups. And another tough contested three. This time it goes. Price moving the ball quickly here. Mano gets back inside. A lot of contact again. Oh. He gets his layup to go. Play of Jermaine Morrow. Mano already with 23 points with 13 minutes remaining here in this game. Mano with the ball now. Swings it back up top. McKay Mitchell takes his chance for three. Up and knocked oh, down. Geez. You know, the Hampton University Pirates have gotten their crowd into it so far. Scott with the ball to the top of the key. Hands it off to Owens. He gives it up to Pierce. Pierce takes a quick three. Hand deep in his face. <laughs> knocks it down. Let the play develop. Gives it to Hextall. Has Barnes up top. To Maymar with a nice back cut screen. And gets the easy two layup to go. That's too Caught easy. Owens sli sleeping on the other side. Layup. Riley taking the ball hard to the paint. And is blocked by Hextall. Blocks it, then catches it. <laughs> Rebounded by who other than Knight who gets the layup to go in. The putback layup to go in. Where you can't even get mad. And a lot of contact on the pass. But Owens gets the steal, takes the mid-range jumper, and gets it to go. One opportunity for the rest of the game. Owens has it. That's the short floater go. And Owens has found his offensive lately. He's at the night. Riley with it. He'll take it hard to the paint, and he'll get a tough two to go. And we are now tied up 61 to 61 with six minutes remaining here in the game. And that's how I missed it. Pierce has it. He gives it back up to Knight. He gives it to Raleigh. Raleigh just shoots the three. The key mission wasn't really expecting it. He was playing the screen. And now Wilma Mary has took the lead back. Kind of fun. can anticipate the play. And Riley just went straight up with it. And that time, Riley shows up on the defense side getting a block on Jermaine Morrow. With the defense being picked up by Wilma Mary. Jermaine Morrow with a nice spin. Couldn't get the two to go, but nice rebound by Barnes with the putback. Let's see how the tribe how the tribe responds on the offensive end. Deep shot by Pierce. Front rim, no good. It's a three-on-three -three break. And Morrow with a nice crossover. Goes high to the paint. Gets the foul and the two to go. Tied up game 66 to 66. And shoot a free throw out of the line. Goes Jermaine Morrow. Just four minutes remaining here in the game. And good skimmy that Buck Joyner had ready for him. Mara knocks down the free throw. Pirates take the lead. One point lead. And again, right on cue. Barnes with some good defense against tonight. Pass. He'll try his luck with a three. Three up. Front iron. No good. Rebounded by Knight. Yeah, that's the shot Kayla Fisher can make and normally makes. Owens takes a hard to the rack. And he gets the tough two to go. Owens playing some much better basketball here in the second half for his squad. Knight bringing up the ball. Really uh, different and impressive. Jermaine Merrill with the silly foul. And, I, and honestly, I don't believe it's a foul. I think it was a good effort there by Jermaine Merrill. Another pick and roll. You've seen William and Mary go to it all day. Knight with basketball lined up for the free throw. Free throw attempt is up and good. So now a three-point game. Owens with it. Gets it inside. They bring the double team. And not a smart play by Barnes. Comes off his feet. Cannot leave your feet as a defender. Not a good play there by Barnes. Second free throw up. This time good. Of course, press breaker. And they get a steal. Kayla Fisher with it. He gets fouled. Press up the two. The ref will say no foul. And we, no shot. Foul will be on the floor. Still two free throws for Kayla Fisher. So crucial miss on the first one. And misses the second. She doesn't get both free throws to go. And they're going to foul instantly off the rebound. He knocks down his first free throw. Now a three-point game. It's nothing but net right there. He's played great in his last two minutes of this game. He gets to the go. So now a two-possession game. 24 seconds remaining. Jermaine Morrow has it. He'll just go full court. Try to make a Euro move. Gets to the rim. Layup off the mark. No good. And that should do it. Competitive game we saw between both of these ball teams. But it came down to free throws when they mattered the most. And the Pirates could knock down their free throws. And William Mary did. 
76 to 71 is the final score. Women Mary defeats Hampton University by a score of five. First time that a visiting team has won in this match against these two teams in the last eight years. A good game.